I first started when rock and roll was at its peak. And uh, many people were, you know, trying and trying to make the grade. So I figured, well, if I try, I just might make it. And uh, when I got with a group, we tried. You made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Uh, prior to that, Frank, did you do any singing or uh, play the instruments? No, I play the drums. Hi, this is Red Robinson. In 1957, I had the pleasure of emceeing the touring show of stars. Now, it featured Eddie Cochran, the Everly Brothers, Frankie Avalon, Clyde McFadder, Buddy Knox, Paul Anka, and Frankie Lyman. I did my interview between acts, and they were ever so brief. Now, imagine, if you will... Here I am interviewing Frankie Lyman, and I put down the mic and tape machine, and then I run out on stage, introduce the next act, and then run backstage to do another quick interview. On my interview with Frankie Lyman, he mentions that he had recently gone solo. He had separated from his group, the Teenagers, to perform on stage and on records by himself. Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers' initial hit, Why Do Fools Fall in Love, written by Frankie and group member Herman Santiago. That was his first big hit. His first solo release was Goody Goody, and it did quite well. Frankie was born in 1942, and he died, unfortunately, in 1968 of a reported overdose of drugs. Had he lived with all of the talent he possessed, he might have grown to become another Stevie Wonder. Fate, however, did not allow this. Here is a brief historical visit with Frankie Lyman. It took place in September of 1957, backstage at Vancouver's Georgia Auditorium. Well, downstage now here at the George Auditorium is Frankie Lyman. You go on pretty soon, don't you, Frankie? Yes, sir, I do. This is your first time in the Pacific Northwest? Yes, it is. Where do you hail from? Where's your real home? New York. Right in New York City? Mm-hmm. Who gave you your first big break? Uh, the people at uh, G. At G Records? Yes. Have you got a new release coming out, Frankie? It, it is already out. What's it's it called? Released, uh, My Girl. My Girl. Oh, yeah, we've got that in our top 50. But, I mean, I thought you had a new one after that one coming no, out. No. You're not with the, uh, the group in the background anymore. Do you want no, to talk no. about it or do you want to eliminate it? Well, it's not necessary. What, what happened uh, with the group? Did they just leave on their own? No, they wanted to go as a quartet instead of a quintet. They figured they might uh, make it better by themselves. So. I see. Well, how do you like uh, being in the entertainment world? How old are you, by the way, Frank? Sixteen. You're 16 years old? Mm-hmm. Well, you're getting there, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you like uh, the show business? It's fine. Just fine. How's Alan Freed and these fellows? They've been good to you down there? I don't know. You never met him? Never met him? I haven't met seen him lately, no. Uh, yeah, I know him, but I haven't seen him lately. Oh, I see. What was the last movie you did? Uh, Mr. Rock and Roll. Mr. Rock and Roll, which is currently playing here in Vancouver at the Strand Theater. You can see Frankie Lyman there. Mm-hmm. Well, those are pictures taken with Elvis when he was here about a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, where do you head from here? Do you go back home? No, we go to Seattle. The tour is it's lasted for, uh, no, until uh, November the 24th. No, then we go home. Then you go home. I guess you can't mm-hmm. wait to get home. Uh-uh. <laughs> How many members in the family? Oh. In your own family? About, uh, Five. Five people, Yeah. Right? Is that your, including your mom and dad? Yeah. Eh? You got uh, two little brothers, or is it sisters, or what? No, uh, I have two little brothers and one older brother. And and are you the oldest one in the family? No, I'm next to the next to the oldest. Next to the oldest? Yeah, there's six all together, I should say. Oh. Do you uh, like this kind of music you're singing? Uh, well, it's it's nice. You, you like it, eh? Yes. What's your favorite song of all the songs you recorded? My Girl. My Girl. It's your favorite? That's the one we've got right now on the charts, and uh, well, we'd like to thank you for talking to us backstage. And I want to thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> 